In this video, we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this very simple bag. So if this is what you're interested to learn how to do, please stay tuned and watch till the end. Thank you. Now, I'm going to be marking 6 inches from the top, okay? And then I'll also mark 6 inches from the bottom as well. Now, the whole width I'm working with is about 15 inches, alright? So, I marked 6 inches from this point and then I came in by 2 inches. Look at what I mean by coming in by 2 inches. Okay, I just placed my tape at that point where I marked 6 inches, I, I came in by 2 inches. And then I'm going to be ruling, forming something like a rectangle on this point. This uh, very small purse or a bag is very simple to make. All you have to do is just to watch. Now also just form this rectangle this way. I'll also be doing this for the uh, on this other side as well. I will mark six inches from the top, and I will mark six inches from the bottom. All right, and then I will also form a rectangle. All right. Now I'm doing this. I'm marking this six inches so that I will make sure that it's equal. All right. I'm just dividing the whole width of this my bag and ensuring that I have it on an equal fold. Alright, this is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to ensure that I'm, I'm having it on an equal fold so that one side will not be higher and the other side will be lower or higher than the other. Alright, so after marking this, I will just form this same rectangle as well. And this part that I'm marking X, I'm going to be cutting them out. Alright, this side will remain, the middle part will remain. Okay. Now I am cutting this out on my hat stay. This same thing, I'm going to be placing it on my fabric and then cut it out and gum it together. So this is my fabric and my hat stay now together, having the same measurement. Alright, and then I also cut out the lining as well, and it will still have the same measurement. All right now i'm going to be having uh my uh, adding my zipper uh, before before then i'll be marking it out i will ensure that i will mark out the whole length of this the width of this bag okay at this side now i have about nine and a half i'll be getting half of uh nine and a half all right okay and then that half is what i will divide again into half just the same way i did for the other side all right now i will have this 4.5 divided into two so i have two point something and then at that point i will mark okay so you can see i have about 2.3 something so so i'm marking at that 2.4 and i'll be doing the same thing for this other side as well okay so ensure that you do yours whatever that you have just ensure that you divide into two okay so at that point where I marked this, I'll be attaching my strap, okay? Now, for this uh, bag, I'm going to be using an external strap. I'm not going to be using the fabric uh, to make the strap. Now, I'll come down by one inch, or one, no, rather, one and a half inches. You can even do as much as two inches, okay? This will be the, the uh, as much, this will be the uh, uh, amount of, you know, space I'll be leaving. For my strap okay just uh, stay with me you will get me what you get what I mean so I'll be marking this now and then I will quickly attach my strap now for this strap okay I'll be marking as much as I want for the length of this strap so you can vary with what you want if you want a longer strap uh, you can do that but me I'm just working with about 11 inches all right because i'll be folding it in this way and then i also do cut two straps one for each side all right so this strap is what i'm going to be using to attach to this fabric at that point that i marked okay that's why it's important that you mark here so that your straps can be on the equal sides that's two of them so i decided to go with 12 inches for the straps okay and i cut uh, two uh, straps and then I'll be marking and stitching on that part where I already marked now if you're working with an external strap like this one that I'm holding you have to actually burn the mouth of this strap 
okay if not look at the way it's coming off all right this is the way to just keep coming off till the strap finishes so it's important that you at least bond in, you burn it out so that it doesn't come off. You can see that it's no longer coming off. I will do this thing to the other side and to the other handle or strap as well. Okay, so it's that simple. So when you are burning yours, ensure that it's still a hollow so you will not burn excess of what is required. Now after doing this. And I will ensure that it's no longer coming off. I'll go ahead and then stitch on my fabric. At that point where I marked, I just stitched on it. You can actually pin it first so you don't make mistake. But look at me, I just stitched mine and I formed the Z on it, and that's just the main thing. Now, after this, I'm going to go in with my uh, zipper. You, you don't uh, forget how we fixed. Uh, our zipper in this place is very simple all I do is just to place the zipper on top of my fabric and then place my lining on top and then I'm gonna be sewing this is so simple to do all you have to do is just to stay tuned and watch me do it so I'm gonna go ahead and pin it out so you can see how it looks then I will stitch on it and when you are pinning up ensure that you place your lining very well and don't forget to put the straps in to inward all right let it be under the lining before you actually put your zipper now like this i already fixed this side i'll just open it up and then drag this other side towards the just see what i'm doing i'm trying to drag the other end of the zipper to this side and ensure that when you are doing that that you face the zipper rightly okay so avoid sewing twice because if you face it wrongly you, you that means you have to lose it out so i have to check out where i'm sewing before i actually run my stitches all right so i'm just pinning this as well And this is how it looks you know I already stitched it up now I'm going to turn this out and this is simple what you have to do is just to do this okay turn this out like this and then it's ready now you can actually double stitch or top stitch on this part that I'm holding now you can actually do that carefully so that it comes out better okay if you want to actually use a an, an hemming gum on at this area is still okay okay or if you want to use a normal gum on this area i think it's okay but it may look talky at this point so i would kindly advise a hemming gum or you actually top stitch on it so this is practically it now i'm going to go ahead and then close this up right after i actually top stitch i want to show you how it looks i'll just quickly turn this up and then stitch after stop stitch, after top stitching <laughs> sorry please i'm going to be stitching this up like this and then stitch up the side as well okay and also fold it in now what if you're doing this with this method don't forget that you will actually have to use a bias to turn this out so it comes out neat all right so this is me actually showing you that you can actually use I've, I've already stitched this out now you can actually use a bias or a lining or whatever you you have that still matches to actually sew this up cover it up so it comes out uh, neat as well so this is practically how to make this back and I'll after doing this now I'm going to quickly turn this out so that you see it but I'm still laying emphasis on covering it up so it looks neat so this is all for this video thank you